Okay, so first thing first, let me just address how lovely this jacket is. Oh, it's actually a coat. I don't know why I called it a jacket. English is not my first language. And um, let me also address that it's not mine, it's my mother's. I just found it in her closet the other day and I asked her, why do you not wear this? And she said, I'm kind of too fat for it. And I said, oh, can I have it? And she said, no. And I was, well, can I borrow it until you lose weight? And she was like, no. But I need to have some sort of documentation of how much I love this jacket, so it's going on here. And look at the buttons as well, they're kind of purpley. <laughs> Girl talk is over. Bloody Kess in your lovely experiences. I will move to London one day. We all know that. That's just a fact of my life apparently now. It's been my dream for about five years um, since my mum started telling us about how lovely London was and then I wanted to go there really badly. And then we actually went there and I was like, well, I mean, this, this is my future home. So, I know that the Doctor Who convention was in Cardiff, but still. London is still closer to Cardiff than Copenhagen is, so... No, I'm um, I'm just jealous, that's all. I do get quite easily jealous. No, I don't. I don't know why I said that. I don't get easily jealous. I just envy you and your ability to go into the real TARDIS thing and sit and watch the trailer for Series 7 with Matt Smith, Karen Gillan, Arthur Davil and all the other good people that are on the show or working on the show. Well, that was rather rude, I'm sorry. I'm going to try to say it in a more civilised and... Um, polite way, Kez. I am very happy for you that you went to the Doctor Who convention. I am also very jealous that you went to the Doctor Who convention and I kind of wish I could have been there. It was also kind of funny how you said, oh, I'm not really one with nature and you were waving away the wasps and stuff and then a butterfly came and you were so happy. It's weird that nature is like that because I feel exactly the same way. There's actually only one animal slash insect thing that I'm actually terrified of and uh, they are the, um, what do you call them in English? I think you call them the daddy long legs, which is a strange name. I just, I just don't understand them. They're like, they have, like, the, they have bodies that look like they're quite heavy compared to how small and thin and long their legs are and it's it's also kind of scary how you can just rip their legs off which I've never done because I'm terrified of them but I know that you can <laughs> and the worst thing is that they are pretty much the only animal that we get in here because apparently they eat dust and we have a lot of dust in the house they live behind my curtains there are a few I think I've removed them but they come in when I open the door to the balcony because I have to do that sometimes because it's my window mm. there you go I got kind of sidetracked there. I don't know why I felt the need to tell you but um hey now you know me a bit better oh the camera kind of panned that is where we were, I think. And also, no one answered my question. And I know this is a strange thing to kind of just say, but I've discovered a few new bands recently, and this is not product placement, why would anyone pay us to do anything? Um, no, they're just bands that I really like, and I think you should listen to some of their songs. One of them is Passion Pit, it's kind of a, um, I don't know exactly what to call it, it's indie pop, but it's very sort of upbeat, most of it, and very sort of nice and positive mood lightening music. I think happy is the best word to describe it and it's also very strange music but I really like them, I absolutely love them and I've been listening to a lot of their songs recently so Passion Pit, put it on the list. Second one I've really been loving for actually a few months now is um, what they're called, Seawolf is what they're called. They're more of a kind of acoustic indie style thing. I think if there's any word to describe their music style um, it's going to sound weird, but I think it would be Autumn. It's like, just all of their songs just remind me of Autumn and how nice it is. Autumn is my favourite season. So Seawolf put that on the list as well. They have very nice songs. May I recommend You're a Wolf, Rose Captain, Blackleaf Falls, I think it's called. Yes, those. And from Passion Pit, I would like to recommend To Kingdom Come, I think it's called. And Cuddle Fuddle, which is just the best song name ever and Better Things is also very good. Right, I've been filming for 11 minutes when I hardly had anything to talk about. It usually goes like that. So, I think I'm done. I am gonna go try to find a job now. 
quite a task, I know. And I'm sorry, I do apologise that I did not show you the plant today. The thing is, I haven't even planted it yet, because we don't have soil. <sighs> nice, yeah. Um, but as soon as I plant the flowers, I will keep you updated on the growth of my plants. That is all. Kez, take me with you next time you go, please. And I love you all. Bye.